Hey, today we are going to make peanut butter cereal bites. This recipe came from this shell, so this is my first time making it too with you guys. You need to go get your favorite cereal. This is my family's favorite cereal. We need some honey. We need some, do you guys know what this is? Peanut butter and some vanilla. You need a half cup measuring utensil and a one cup measuring utensil and a half of a teaspoon. We are going to start with our cereal. So open up your box, open up your bag if it's a brand new box, and we need four cups. So can you guys point to the one cup line? Where is that? Let's put my hand there. Where's the one cup line? It is right there. Very good. So we need four cups of these. I'm going to pour over the bowl just in case any gets out. So there is one. I pour it into a bowl. Two. Three. So we have a four cups. Let's do our peanut butter next. We need a half a cup of peanut butter. So I have my spoon. I have my spoon and I have my half cup measuring. There you go. Can you guys see that? So I'm going to dig in here. Oh, I got some peanut butter on my hand. I really want to lick it off my finger, but we know we're not allowed to lick our fingers when we're cooking for other people. I've taught you guys that in the classroom, huh? So there is my half cup. So I'm going to... The pan almost fell. We're going to move the pan over there. And we're going to move you guys so you guys can see. I am going to scoop in the peanut butter. And then I'm going to grab myself a napkin because I have peanut butter on my hand. I'm going to move the peanut butter over there. I'm going to pick up my measuring thing. I'm not going to wash out the peanut butter because the peanut butter and the honey are going to mix up in here anyway. So I am just going to squeeze the honey out. This might take a while. I'm going to actually use the lid and I'm going to pound it on the table a little bit to get that honey to come down. Squeeze. I'm actually going to set this down on the table and I'm going to use both of my hands to squeeze. How's it coming over there, guys, squeezing your honey out? It's taking a while, huh? I don't think I've ever used this much honey at one time. Okay. I think that is good. Now I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to dig the honey out. Okay, and then our vanilla, one half teaspoon, that is the small spoon, and then I'm going to pull that in there, I'm going to put the lid back on my vanilla because I don't want it to accidentally spill. 
Now we're going to mix up all of our ingredients. It smells really good. If you guys like more peanut butter in now, go ahead and add it. I know I do a lot of experimenting when I cook. I don't always follow a recipe. As you all know out there, I think I'm going to just add a tad bit more peanut butter just because my family loves peanut butter. So I'm going to do another big spoonful of it. I know there's many of you guys out there that love peanut butter. So I'm going to store this up again. Ah, that looks so much better. You want to coat all of your cereal pieces with peanut butter and some honey. This smells so good. Michelle, if you're watching, my mouth is watering. This looks and smells amazing. So there's that. And it says that to put it on the cookie tray, I'm just going to do a pan. Even if you put it on a cookie tray, I'd probably recommend spraying it down. Honey and peanut butter. I have a feeling it's going to stick. And then we dump our mixture into the pan. And then I'm going to take my spoon and pat it down. Like we were talking about the other day, we want it even. Whatever's on this side, we want on that side. We don't want one side thicker than the other. Or one side thinner than the other. I know in my family, everybody wants the same amount. So you kind of want to spread it out. So when you cut it, everybody gets the same amount. Remember, if you guys do this, take a picture of it and post it on your Class Dojo account for